Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. It's time for us to discuss what's trending in the news. And of course, we have Ezugu Chukudi here with us. He's coming to tell us everything. Today promises to be hot and fiery and juicy. So please don't go away. Your number one political analyst, Ezugu Chukudi, is here with us. Good to have you, Chukudi. Thank you very much. Come, do we have another star boy in Nigeria? <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice one. That was nice. <laughs> I see what you did there with the stars all yeah, over your house. Oh, nice one. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, let's kick it off. Happy, Happy weekend. weekend. And how are you? I'm very, very well. Chukudi, what's your take on this NYC story? I mean, we've been talking about, we showed the video of Davido going to serve. And a Y comedian had put up a post saying, oh, I'm so proud of Davido. He realized at the end of the day, education, you are nothing without education. Now, he came under fire for that comment. Lots of people saying, you can't be saying stuff like that. We have companies like Apple and other mm -hmm. international companies saying that they're starting to set aside college requirements. So what are you saying about... This. So what's what's your take with well, regards I, I to I think I think I think um, you know a lot of people look up to the video. You'd be surprised that you know many of our public office holders don't wield the kind of influence that this young man wields. So when we see people like this who control the minds of a lot of people, I think we should cut them some slack. I'm not coming, I'm not saying, oh, education, education. I'm saying when we have people that, you know, just by a post on social media can influence the actions of millions of young Nigerians. Looking at Nigeria's population demographics, I really think that we can cut them some slack. No, I have make excuses video. for them, but, but it's important that in order to have an ideal society, we just should not make excuses because this is how we intend to survive. But we want to make excuses because of the influence that they have but try to correct a lot of what is wrong in our society. When we talk of education, I always insist, education is not just A is for Apple or two times one, two. Education is essentially empowerment, what you know, so that you can contribute your quota to nation building and national development. In Nigeria, a lot of young people define success as driving a fancy car, living in a choice apartment, or just owning money and throwing it around. Now, people just go to school because they feel that the certificate is just there. Let me just get it and let my parents be happy. You see people that study a particular discipline working in an entirely different profession. It's not just because they want to do so. It's because they are I forced... I cut myself, by the way. And Leila, I hope you cut yours. I did, No, no, no. It's not, it's, not, it's not just that. Now, when we look at education, essentially, what you give, you're fantastic on the job. That's why you're doing the job. But it is what you give and the value that you add. But in Nigeria, it is just desperation. So that when we have a conversation, you, you don't look at me and say, you that did not go to school. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So we need to correct all of these so that, you know, through vocational education, people can come out and proudly say that they're adding value to society. But what of your take on NYC? Leila and I have I mean, take on Scrap NYC. or revamp? Maybe because I have a background in history. The reason why the NYC was instituted was after the Nigeria Civil War. Peace it was essentially to promote integration. Mm -hmm. And there are stories of people who have not left their primary place of origin. The NYC offered them the opportunity. Do not be surprised that there are places where the only teachers children know are people who came for NYC. I have friends who are resident today in Kano, in Adamawa. They have established successful businesses. Why? Because they saw a gap and they decided to fill that gap. We live in a country where politicians take advantage of us and they, 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 they so hate. They make it look like we hate each other, we do not love each other. I don't see any reason why the NYSC, if we try as much as we can to ensure that it lives up to its foundational objective, should not be retained. These people have bastardized it. That's why people are looking at it. I heard you say something about people who lost their lives. It happened in 2011. Young people, I had a friend that died you know, participated in the election as an ad hoc INEC official, and they were just hacked down. So I think that we must not lose, you know, um, the sense of the foundational objective. If we retain the foundational objective, which is supposed to promote integration, and let people see the outside or other parts of where they are from, then I think we should retain it. So revamp. Revamp. Okay. Restructure, and the revamping, repackage, redefine to make the NYC desirable. And the revamping should not just be for the. It should not just start after camp. It should start from camp. It should because start from our primary schools. In fact, the revamping is a lot of. It should begin from. It should begin from our primary schools. See what we what we see. Eh? Morale is low. The truth is, as Nigerians, we should aim for a a Nigerian generation that is Nigerian oriented, whether you like it or not. If you look at the demographics of Nigeria's population, there's trouble. There's a time bomb waiting to explode. 
because there's a generational gap. At least 110 million Nigerians of 198 are 30 years and below. What these people have known all their lives, or for a majority of their adult life, going from 18 to when they turn 30, let's do plus or minus 12 years, uninterrupted democratic rule, where a majority of the leaders have only stolen the country blind, enriched themselves, supplanted growth and development. Now, what we must do is begin from the primary schools to begin to teach that ile somi odu juoye law integrity. The good name is better than whatever riches that you'll be able to amass. Absolutely. And that is only when we would have a Nigeria that we'll be proud of. To enjoy more of this, our Ogunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.